everyone, it's Paige. We are back for a YouTube video today. And we're going to talk about fairway woods. So many people struggle with fairway woods off of the fairway. Off the tee, it's fine. You know, you're teeing it up, super easy. But when it comes to fairway woods off of the fairway, people tend to struggle. So we're going to talk about that today. People struggle with their woods off of fairway because they have the wrong technique or the mentality when they're about to hit it. Most people try to hit it like an iron shot where they hit too far down on it and you don't want to be steep with your fairway woods. You want to actually feel like you're more sweeping it almost like a driver swing. But this gets a little tricky because people tend to sweep it too much and this is where they kind of lift through it and they'll top it. So it's kind of like a little bit of a combination between your iron and your woods or your driver and this is why i like people to hit hybrids so a hybrid is exactly what you would think it is it's a hybrid between your iron and a wood so this is my three wood you can tell it's a little bit bigger and it doesn't have as much loft but you can get hybrids in whatever loft that you want and it will replace like your five wood or your seven wood. I still recommend having a three wood and never replacing that because a three wood is really great off the tee and it's a very versatile club. And once you get the feeling of it off of a fairway, it's quite simple to hit. But hybrids are great. And they're also great if you're not a good long iron player. So a lot of people struggle with their five iron, four iron, three iron. Some people even have two irons. Guys, you should not be hitting a two iron. Hybrids are the club for you and you should definitely invest in some hybrids. They're great out of the rough. They're great out of the fairway. They're so simple and easy to hit and they will get easily up in the air. And so I think a lot of the times people have trouble because they don't have clubs that actually fit them. So hybrids are a really great alternative if you're struggling with your long irons, but also with your woods off of the fairway. A lot of people don't like to hit a hybrid and they will choose to have a very a long iron, like a two iron, a three iron, or even a four iron because they, it's an ego thing. I think sometimes when you hear hybrid, you think of a high handicapper or someone who is older, a female golfer who doesn't have the swing speed to be able to hit a long iron, but that's not the case. You see a lot of professional golfers, Dustin Johnson, who is one of the longest hitters on tour, he has a hybrid in his bag. And I always say this seriously all the time, you guys hear me say this over and over and over again, why make the game harder when it's already difficult? So when I have my hybrid or a fairway wood. One thing I like to think of is just brushing the grass and so you still definitely want to take a divot. So with a driver, obviously you're off a tee and so you don't hit any grass. You don't want to hit down on it at all. And then with an iron, you definitely want to hit down on it and get steep. So this is the kind of that good in between. And oh, that, <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> you don't want to hit that far behind it. But the best thing that you can be doing is practice swings. I told you guys this in the last video. A lot of people struggle because they don't practice, but the best way to improve is to just hit practice swings in finding the bottom of the grass where you're gonna bottom out. So just take practice swings and try to feel like you're just brushing the grass. So that was the perfect practice swing right there. I brushed the grass, didn't take too much of a divot, but I also caught like the perfect amount. If you're hitting a hybrid, it's gonna have a little bit more loft on it. So a small divot is totally okay. If you have something a little less loft, that's where you're gonna to wanna to sweep it a little bit more. So the hybrid club is like a hybrid swing. So you can hit down on it just a little bit more and you're gonna have a small divot, but it's not gonna be like a huge divot like you would with a wedge. So don't be afraid to take just a small divot when you have a hybrid in your hand. One tip that always works for me, or it's more of a, th a swing thought, is I like to feel like my arms are extending and almost lifting through. That helps me because I like to think of it as more of like a long sweeping shot. And so if I feel that extension and that like lift in my arms, it almost forces me to be a little bit more shallow with my swing. With my irons, I come in and I finish pretty short and compact. And so 
even if I'm not doing it, it's just a mentality switch for me that really helps with my fairway woods. And I really just try to like brush the grass with it. And so feel like long and lifted. Another thing is don't try to hit this so hard. You want to hit this just a certain distance and I feel like that's where people also get confused with it. With your irons, you know that you hit your 7 iron 150 yards or whatever it may be. And that's the th same thing with your fairway woods. You're not trying to hit it as far as you can possibly hit it. You're trying to hit it the exact distance that you want it to go. So don't try to hit it 110% just to bomb it out there. Really work on your tempo and that's going to help you with that sweeping motion. So I like to hit these like 85-90% and that's gonna help kind of slow it down, not feel like you're coming, coming after it too much. So slow it down and really try to get that tempo. And since it's a longer club, almost feel kind of stuck at the top and a little bit longer, like kind of hold it there for a second and then let the head do the work instead of forcing it down as well. Such a long club, it's gonna go the distance you want. So work on your tempo and just letting the club do the work on this shot. You're gonna to wanna to have it middle forward of your stance. Um, if you have it too far back, you're gonna to tend to come kind of steep on it and the club is gonna be open. And if you have it too far forward, you're gonna to tend to kind of reach towards it. So just a little forward of center seems to be good. So you can see my tempo there was really nice and smooth. I hit that one just slightly fat, but it ended up working out actually perfectly. So having that good tempo and letting the club do the work and having more of like a longer low swing um, and then more lifted and up does the trick. So try to think of that when you're hitting your fairway woods. You can see that I didn't even take a divot. There's a small little kind of some of the grass did come up, but there is no divot. So that means that I caught it perfect and I brushed the grass, kind of sweeped it up and hit a good shot. So that's how you hit your woods. It's actually fairly simple and easy once you get the hang of it. My biggest tip is to do just a ton of practice swings. Seriously, practice swing, practice swing, practice swing. You're going to get the feel of where it bottoms out. You're going to kind of figure out how your body's moving. Try to really slow it down, focus on your tempo, and let the club head do the work. Don't try to force it to get up in the air or to hit it too far. Just trust the club. Know that it's a longer club and it's going to go the distance that you want it to go. So swing easy, let it happen. Don't try to force it up in the air or force it to do something. Just let it happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below, like it, subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out videos every Thursday been a lot of golf videos lately so maybe leave a comment down below on if there's anything that you guys want me to talk about in upcoming videos maybe it could be fitness or a diet or just a life update whatever you guys want so I want to hear from you and uh, let me know or if you guys want more golf I will always give you more golf so leave a comment down below let me know what you want and I will see you guys next Thursday